Please pause for a moment of quiet reflection. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. this week's portion of the morning show. Let's get started. The fall 2017 parking passes for rising seniors will be conducted on Monday, February 6th and Tuesday, February 7th during 4A and 4B lunch. Rising junior lottery will be conducted Friday the 10th and Monday the 13th. The fall parking application is on the AHS website. Good morning, Alfreda, and welcome to the weather. Let's get started. For today, Friday, expect a chilly day with an overcast, slightly rainy afternoon. Kicking off the weekend, the temperature will drop a little for Saturday with mostly cloudy skies and for Sunday, expect once again mostly cloudy skies with slightly warmer temperatures. Starting off Monday, the temps will rise drastically, yes, with the clouds still moving through. This was Matthew George with The Morning Show and have a great weekend, everyone. No, 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 not you. So not I hear you're judge from Mr. No. HS not this year, Miss Hong. Uh, yeah. What does it have to take to get your vote? Can't be bribed. Cannot be bribed. Nope. Get that dub this year, Mr. HS. You Dude, know, you know I can't be bribed. Well, like, just, just. Not for, I mean, I mean, maybe. I mean, I mean, if we're, I, we cool. So, Mr. Kellen, uh, what's the probability I win Mr. HS this year? Um, I'm not really sure. How about now? Do you really think that I can be bribed? I mean. We could work something out. So who will win Mr. AHS 2017? I know, Wednesday, February 8th at 7 p.m. Will it be one of these contestants? Nah, it's gonna be me. <laughs> Please use the QR code or tiny URL to vote for the teacher superlatives for 2017. The deadline for voting is February 13th. Look at this between Norman and Beckham. <laughs> My neck. My neck. One touches the football here. Watch what happens. It's Leon left. No. And with three seconds left, Miami is that close to pulling this one out. Not. Your tongue is ashy. I don't think that's possible. Your dog is so dang ashy. It's ashy. Dude, it's ashy. It's ashy. You hear what I said? Every one of you guys is now a suspect, okay? Smurfs. Jim Marshall recovers the fumble and he runs the wrong way. Yeah, that, that dude that fumbled Billy Kilmer played 18 years as a quarterback. Got something to tell y'all. Hey, where are you going? What's up, Alfreda? I'm Sven, and I'll be your host for this portion of the morning show. Let's get started. Students, if you have misplaced anything, please check the lost and found in the clinic. Anything not claimed by Friday, February 10th will be donated. <laughs> What? 
What's up, Alfreda? Welcome to the Cove. The new and improved school store starting next week is going to be open every Tuesday and Thursday in the morning and both lunches. You can find anything here at the school store, from Alfreda hats to lanyards to tumbler cups to polos, t-shirts, sweaters, it's all here. Don't forget we also have school supplies and we also have your daily electronic needs. We hope to see you here at the Alfreda Cove. Are you in the mood for something new in the cafeteria? Come on down on Friday and try our new Tyson Chili Lime Wings or Wings of Fire. They are here Friday only just in time for the Super Bowl. Hi, my name is Shafali and I'm one of the captains of the robotics team at Alpharetta High School. My robotics team and I build and program robots. Us being here every single day, we are trying to build our knowledge and expand on learning new ways to create technology that hasn't existed before. Participating in FTC allows me and my team to learn more about the math and science while we learn about different careers that we could possibly be part of, such as business, computer science, and other types of engineering. Being part of all of this, hopefully we get to learn enough that one day we can make a difference in our community and our country. Hey Alfreda, Ryan again. Teddy Grahams are back. Purchase one for $2 next week during both lunches at the student council desk. They'll be delivered on Valentine's Day. I'm Mr. Romero, and I'm Alpharetta Teacher of the Week. So what class do you teach? I teach Spanish 2, 2 honors, and Spanish 4. Why did you vote for Mr. Romero? Uh, Mr. Romero, I mean, uh, he's a pretty fun teacher. He makes actually learning fun, like most teachers do. He's very energetic, he makes the class really fun, and I just like him overall, and, you know, because he's Spanish, and I feel like I can bond with him more. What's your favorite part about teaching? Um, I like kind of being the, uh, the window to different cultures, Spanish-speaking countries, um, kind of being that opportunity to, to travel without actually having to travel. So what's your favorite part of the class? Uh, my favorite part of the class is uh, sometimes when we're bored, he does videos to make you know, us more like, to make the class fun and not like boring worksheets. Yeah. And how long have you been teaching? This is my fifth year teaching. It's my second year here at Alpharetta. And what is your favorite part about Alpharetta? My favorite part of Alpharetta is probably the diversity here at this school. And what would you want to say to Mr. Romero? Uh, just thank you for being a great teacher. Muchas gracias. The Teacher of the Week is sponsored by the AHS Foundation, supporting academics, arts, athletics, and service at Alpharetta High School. Take out your phone right now and vote for Teacher of the Week. The polls refresh each week, so make sure that you vote every single week. If you win, both you and your teacher could win a gift card. So vote now. Interested in journalism and the news? Do you like to write about and keep up with current events and trends? How about photography and photo editing? Apply for The Hook, the AHS newspaper. Pick up an application today in room 2229 and submit the application by today. You can also access the application on the Hook website at ahshook.com. What's up, Alfreda? My name's Ben and this is Sports Play of the Week. This week we see Stephen Curry going off for 43 points in three quarters against the Clippers. He was 9 for 15 on threes. Curry, plenty of time, hits a three, has time, three seconds. Curry from half court. Oh! He puts it! It's it from Green. Curry's from straight on. Curry way downtown. It's good. We're going to take that same shot in the next game. Curry again. Golden State has a chance this year. Curry fires. Oh! In this league, and he's got a unique thing. Curry. My name's Fenn, and this has been Sports Play of the Week. AHS Robotics Club competed in the first Tech Challenge qualifier on January 28, 2017, in order to go to state at Clayton State University. Alpharetta Robotics Club's Team Black set the pace by being the first team to place the cat ball. Other tasks included pushing the button on the beacons. Team Silver did most of the score for their alliances, but was not able to make up enough to make it to the semifinals. But Team Black did score enough points to move on to the semifinal and to state. <laughs> 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 
Congrats to this week's Rich Raider winners for showing respect, integrity, citizenship, and hard work. The winners of the free item from Chick-fil-A are CJ Dobard, Pranav Matyala, Aaron Allen, and Nasreen Tajidin. The winner of the parking spot is Damone Ingram. The winners of the Raider Lanyard are Sean Gordon, Jordan Leslie, Anna Mead, Sarah Taylor, and Alan Matias. The winners of the Starbucks gift card are Garrett Reynolds, Maureen Renlin, Rohan Reyna, and Brian Rodriguez. Students and staff, your rewards will be delivered today. Keep up the great work and stay rich, Raiders. for my student production award. The call for entries this year is for any work created by the students between the dates of March 15th of 2016 to March 14th of 2017. The deadline is March 19th, 2017. You don't want to miss this. For more information, go to southeastemmy.com. Good morning, Alfreda, and today we have an exclusive update of the situation back in Chile. Raging flames from the wildfires that continued from the mountains until the Pacific coast damaged forests, livestock, and entire towns. Firefighters and locals have though fought with full zeal against the quickly spreading blazes on Tuesday. Moreover, thousands of gallons of water have been poured on by Russian supertanker plane, Brazilian Hercules, and US 747 supertanker over the 290 mile stretch across the southwest of the Chilean capital. In all, more than 15,000 firefighters from more than a dozen countries have been battling the massive fire outrage. However, officials were predicting light rains along with lower temperatures that would provide some relief. This is a developing story. Let's have faith in Chile. My name is Ryan, and you've been watching The Morning Show.